Hi guys, welcome to Huddle Adventures. I am unpacking in the room. Laura is working diligently. You can hear her clicking away on her keyboard in the background. The first step when um, I get on a ship, I, I want to unpack my tech bag, the backpack. This monstrosity that weighs uh, 40 pounds. And when I started doing that, I realized there's a few pieces of gear I didn't share with you guys in uh, my video the other day when I showed you our new vlogging kit. And two things popped to mind when I was giving the uh, room tour video a few minutes ago, which you'll see on this channel, is the outlet situation. Okay, every cruise vlog on YouTube, every vlogger, one of the, the, the common complaints we all have is the cruise ships are notorious for having very few power outlets in, in the rooms, guys. The uh, 120 volt outlets are limited. There's usually only one or two of them. And then you have a European 230 volt outlet that no one can use if they don't have an adapter. And that's usually about it. Now, the cruise lines are listening, guys. The newer ships are starting to have USB ports uh, all over the room and more outlets, which is great. But if you're like us, you, you like the older ships too and you want to sail on all of them. So you need to be prepared for that. You don't want to get in your room and be, oh man, what am I going to do? I'm going to give you two, two pieces of gear that I find very, very valuable in a cruise stateroom is this deal right here, okay? This came from, you guess, guess where I, guess where I bought this from? Bezos, yes. Amazon. This is a Trond brand uh, adapter. It's the European adapter. So you can just, just get the funny looking plugs. You can plug that right in. And then now you have three standard plugs and then two USB plugs. So right there, you just gave yourself a whole world of power that you didn't have before. Uh, that, that outlet will go empty and unuse your entire cruise if you don't have one of these, okay? So get one of these. And the key for anything to do with the cruise ship and power is you cannot have it surge protected, okay? So your power strips and things like this can't have a surge protector, like a light or a switch that trips when there's a surge of electricity. For whatever reason, cruise ships don't want that. They won't let you have anything like that. If they find it, they're going to take it from you. So no surge protectors you can have power strips but no surge protectors now the next thing this thing's really cool so oh i was gonna tell you this is like 12 13 bucks right trond there's 20 different brands but they all look exactly the same again like i was saying you guys the other day when you're dealing with mr bezos's amazon always make sure you read the reviews. Don't just look at how many stars, read what people are saying about the products and make sure it's good and see what they say. So this one, I did that and it's been good. I bought two of these. I only bring one, obviously. Uh, my mom cruises with us too occasionally and I wanted to, I always buy two of everything so she'll have it for her room when she's with us. Now this one is an anchor and you guys probably uh, recognize that brand. They, they make all kinds of chargers and cables for phones and uh, Android and, and uh, Apple. Uh, they're pretty popular, they've been around for a while. I think this was like 20 bucks. I think I got it on one of their cyber flash deals. I think it's normally right around 25. It comes a white or black and for some reason the white is uh, less expensive, about two of these two. Again, you end up with the same type of deal. You plug this into your standard uh, 120 and you still have the other one available to plug into so you can actually have two of these bad boys and have all kinds of devices plugged in so you end up with three standard plugs and then three usb adapters and these things are uh, usb chargers these are high speed chargers too so pretty cool works out great um you know and it comes with this little velcro wrap around so you can pack it away nice and neat in your bag so you got that the other thing i recommend getting is uh USB high quality fast chargers. Uh, this three pack I bought from Amazon again, everything's from Amazon is, uh, I think they're right around $12. And these are the high speed ones um, that tend to you know get your, your phone, your devices charged faster. And then this I showed you the other day for my GoPro, it's a charger. And I didn't even realize this guys, but it's also a card reader, okay? So you can, 
you know, you got your batteries charging for your GoPro on this thing. And it's, again, it's a Telesin, T-E-L-E-S-I-N. I think you can see that probably looks backwards in the, on the video. This thing is great. So it takes a regular USB-C cable, you plug it in, you charge it. But you can also plug it right into your laptop and then put a uh, micro USB card in there and it will read the card for you. If you know you're, you have an ancient laptop without a card reader built in, which most of them have. Uh, I also wanted to show you the Sony setup on the Bluetooth handle. Uh, the Bluetooth handle takes a uh, like a watch battery, a lithium battery, which is uh, pretty neat because I have guitar chargers at home that use the same battery, so it uses these little bad boys. I think they're CO. 32s really common so that's cool i like that i'd rather have batteries that's one less thing i gotta worry about charging but i wanted to show you about this handle is okay i got this plate that i, I mentioned for the sony z v1 all installed and if you look right in here there's a void where you can change the battery while it is still on a tripod okay and there's multiple mounting holes so you can you can move this camera all over the place on any tripod you're using which is really neat and it's, it's made of steel. Now, the really cool thing about this handle is a lot of times you have to unscrew this if you want to turn the camera around the face or whatever. On this one, you don't have to do that. There's a button right here. You press it and it lets you spin this thing 90 degrees at a time. And it locks right back in, which is really cool. And there's also on the bottom of this, there is another uh, sole plate adapter. So you can, you can attach like I could attach the microphone down here and then put my light on top, which is really neat. So that's pretty cool. Um, and they, again, this thing is also a tripod in addition to being a handle. And then to tilt, there's a button right here. You press this button, it unlocks locks it. Now you're locked in. So you can set this on a table, do your recording. And I'm ashamed to tell you, I haven't even had this thing on yet. Have any chance guys, I'm gonna do it over the next couple of days, I'm gonna be using this thing. So pretty neat, nice little handle. And then the most important thing is, what's the power for it? Well, you can control the camera with these buttons and you can program the buttons if you use the way you want them. But say you have this thing facing you, you can go ahead and hit start, you know, so you don't have to hit start on the camera, spin the camera around. And then while you're talking on the camera, uh, you, you also have the screen that will face you. So you can see if you're centered up into the screen, whatever. So it's, it's pretty cool, pretty neat. And I got the microphone, the DD microphone all installed on it. So you guys have been at sea, you know it is windy. So you do have to have these muffs on your microphones or all you're gonna hear is wind noise. How many of you watch people YouTubing and they're out, oh, we're on a little deck. That's really great. All you hear is wind. It drives me crazy and I don't wanna be that guy. So um, I get really angry when uh, I, wreck video because i'm not thinking about the wind so um i try to avoid that so with that said guys um also that uh camera the loom cube camera camera i found it fits in this fossil watch uh box metal box protects it while it's straight around in the um backpack but this is what it looks like it's pretty small if you can picture it being used on this camera it's pretty small so this is all charged everything's charged ready to go and like I said, this will be used, this light will be used. Um, you can control the intensity of the light. It's got all these switches on the sides. Um, we'll use this like if we're uh, doing any kind of vlogging in um, light, light conditions. So with that said guys, that's all I got with this gear. Just thought I'd show you and I'd give you that little tip about those power adapters and stay tuned. There's gonna be a bunch of vlogs coming. Talk to you later, bye.